Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play the Piranha Plants Lullaby from Super Mario 64. Everything you need for the lesson is going to be right up here on the screen for you to follow along. If you'd like a PDF song sheet to help you put the whole thing together and play it at home, sign up today to patreon.com slash uketeacher. The first thing you're going to need to do is grab your uke and make sure it's in tune. If you want to learn the main Super Mario Brothers theme from the Game Boy game, then check out my ancient lesson up here. And if you think that this is a cool lesson to learn and you'd like to learn more songs from computer games, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below right now what songs you'd like to learn next. In case you've never heard it before, this is how it goes. I'm going to break the song down for you note by note and don't worry if you've never done any finger picking before because this is a lot easier than it looks, especially if you know a few basic ukulele chords. By the way, I post a brand new ukulele lesson each and every week and I have been doing now for over 10 years. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video. So let's start off by breaking down the first four chords and you'll see just how straightforward this piece really is. Now the first chord is basically an F major 7. Now maybe you don't know the chord of F major 7, but hopefully you'll know the chord of C major 7. That's basically the three open strings here, and then your finger on the second fret of the first string. That's a C major 7. Now I don't know if you guys know this or not, but basically there's only a handful of ukulele chord shapes, and once you know them, you can slide them up and down the fretboard, and that'll give you the rest of the chords. So if this is a C major 7, you can just slide it up one fret, two frets, three, four, and five. And that is your first chord, which is actually a C, D, E, F major seven. So you've got your F major seven to begin with. And then what you do, keep that bar on the first fret, but move your third finger from the seventh fret of the first string to the seventh fret of the second string. So it just goes from and that's your first two notes. And then the third chord is that C major seven chord with just your finger on the second fret of the first string. Followed by your regular run of the mill C major, although you wanna be careful here not to play that first string. So those first four chords, you've just got that F major seven here. Then you move that finger over to the second string. Then you've got a C major seven and a C major. Then you play the second string on its own, and then a D minor chord, followed by the open first string, and then the seventh fret on the first string, and then you play what I guess is a G5. That's basically a G chord like this, but you have your first and second fingers here as normal, and then you put your fourth finger on the fifth fret of the first string. And then on the first string you play the open and second fret again, and then you play your C major chord again. And then you just play open and second fret on the third string and then the open second string like this. So the whole of the first run will go like this. And then the second run starts off exactly the same with that F major seven chord and then move that finger to the same place again for the second chord. And then this time we slide a C major shape 
all the way up to the seventh fret here. So instead of a C major shape here, we slide it up like this, C, D, E, F, G. That becomes a G major chord. And then we play a C major chord as a bar chord, which is basically an A major shape slid up one, two, three, up here onto the third fret. And that is a C major chord because you've got an A, B, C like this. So let's play those four chords here. We've got our F major seven, then the second chord here, and then that high G chord, and then that bar chord of a C. And we play the same D minor run again. Into the G5 chord. And then we play a C major chord in the open position. And then second fret on the third string, open second string, and then open third string. So let's play the whole of that second half of the run. By the way, if you guys are loving this ukulele that I'm using, it's a travel tenor ukulele that was given to me by my good friends at Carla. Basically, that means that it's super thin. In fact, it's barely one inch wide at its widest, and it's also really, really light. In fact, I can balance it on my finger. However, despite the lightweight build, it packs a real punch and sounds absolutely awesome, as I'm sure you can hear through this lesson. If you want to find out more information about this ukulele or any of the ukes that I use in any of my videos, then click on the special link in the video description below and you'll get an exclusive discount on anything on the Carla website just because you watch my videos. So now let's go ahead and learn the middle section of the song. For that part of the song, I like to start strumming. Just six soft downstrokes with your thumb on each chord. And again, we start off with that F major seven chord as we have for the first and second sections of the song. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, we move that finger to the seventh fret of the second string as we have done for each of the previous two sections. And six more downstrokes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then here we play a slightly odd chord. Basically, we put your second finger on the fourth fret of the third string, first finger on the third fret of the second string, and then our third finger on the fifth fret of the first string, before moving to that bar chord of the C major. That's the C major with the bar on the third fret. So let's play those first four chords nice and slow. And then from here we go to a D minor seven, which is basically a D minor chord here, but with our fourth finger on the third fret of the first string. And then here we've got two fairly odd chords. They're kind of the strangest chords in the whole song. We basically play a third finger on the third fret of the third string, and our fourth finger on the third fret of the first string, and then our first finger on the first fret of the second string. And we play one, two, three, four, five, six, one, and we lift up our finger that's on the first string and just play the chord without that note. And then we go back, luckily, to that open C major chord. Before repeating that little run here. Open, two, open. So let's play that little run again. And then the second part of the middle section starts off as all of the sections do with that F major seven chord to the chord here. And then the rest of the run is plain sailing because we basically take a G seven shape and just slide it up and down these strings, up and down the fretboard. Starting with our second and third fingers on the eighth fret. And then the seventh fret. And then the 10th fret. And then we play 10, 8, 10, 7, 8. So let's put that all together and play through the entire middle section now, nice and slow. And remember, except for those last few notes, it's just six soft downstrokes with your thumb on each chord.
And then to end the song, you just repeat the entire first section. Put that all together, and that's how to play the Piranha Plants Lullaby from Mario 64. I've been the ukulele teacher. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this lesson, and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss a lesson. Until next time, I love you all, and I wish you the best.